What's happening in the world? It's March 11th, and here's what happened last week. But first, a big thanks to our sponsors, Amanda Gribben, Obsolete Optics, Nash Hinton, Michelle Smistick, and everyone else coming through on Super Thanks. Without you, this dream would not be possible. So, are you ready? Let's do it. Nikki Haley dropped out. But Trump can stay on the ballot, and then afterwards he posted a $91.6 million bond. Moving on. A new analysis of freshwater resources across the globe shows that the updated planetary boundary for freshwater change was surpassed by the mid-20th century. In other words, for the past century, humans have been pushing the Earth's meat sauce system, I mean hydraulic wa freshwater system, far beyond the stable conditions that prevailed before industrialization. Did you get that? Over. Rich countries are found to use six times more resources and generate ten times the climate impact, according to a new report. Last month was the planet's warmest February and winter on record in the U.S. in the ninth consecutive month of record-breaking temperatures. According to data released Thursday from the European's Copernicus, February was 1.7 degrees Celsius warmer than the average Feb February in pre-industrial times, and according to the report, the daily global average temperature was exceptionally high during the first half of February was 2 degrees warmer for February 8th to 11th. So I think basically we're done in a blanket. It's time to go night-night. Apple coerced people in Europe to use only their apps and their ecosystems. American cities are using losing trillions of gallons of safe drinking water because of leaks in the system. Late stage Rome, okay? Taylor Swift is Emily Dickens' sixth cousin three times the removed. See, man? It's the Illuminati, man. It's all fucking connected, man. You have no free will. It's over. Oil down and up a barrel, but who cares anymore, am I right? Super Tuesday, Trump says November 5th is the most important day in American history. Supreme Court blocked Texas' ability for its police to arrest migrants. Venezuela bids farewell to its last glacier wrapped in plastic. And northern Argentina had its worst natural disaster hit in the city after 12 inches of rain fell last Sunday. China boosts military spending by 7.2%. And Chinese and Philippines Coast Guard vessels collide in South China Sea and spray meat sauce at each other. Biden cut credit card late fees to $8. Electric vehicles release more toxic particles into the atmosphere. Published by emissions analyst analytics, but resurfaced, it found that tires on EVs release 1850 times more particle pollution. That's 1,850. The Arctic could soon be ice-free in the summertime as soon as the next few years, said in a study Tuesday. That's the earliest date any study has suggested an ice-free Arctic could occur as many 10 years earlier than earlier projections. Also, Derek Manzello, the coordinator of NOAA's Coral Reef Watch, told the Reuters news agency, it's looking like the entirety of the southern hemisphere is probably going to bleach this year. In fact, the fifth mass coral bleaching event in eight years hits the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority confirmed. Luckily, coral transplanting across of all of it, it can grow back in four, year, four years if there isn't another heat wave and bleaching event. Keep watching. Go ahead and hit thumb up now because we couldn't get to 50 on my last 4K upload. Shame on you. Methane concentrations reached a record high of 1,934 parts per billion, an increase of 168% since pre-industrial levels. This is already higher than the assumed IPCC's mid-range scenario. Quote, we're literally sitting on the cusp of the worst bleaching event in the history of the planet, says a scientist. Another new global sea surface temperature reaches 21.19 degrees Celsius. And moving on back land, roughly half of graduates are still underemployed 10 years after college. Can I reread that, or did you did you get that the first time? And if you apply to an employer online, there's a 3% chance you'll be contacted back for an interview. Yeah, so much for higher education. Everyone's been shoving that crap down my throat. Get fucked. 
Thousands of flights and trains canceled again in Germany. Two unions called for strikes over wages and working conditions. And arson at a Tesla plant also in Germany. Germany leaked audio saying they would attack Russian territory causes quite the buzz. Another fatal Detroit warehouse fire. And Kristen Sinema is retiring from the Senate, and she didn't do anything for you. The SEC says companies must disclose their greenhouse gas emissions, but not all of them. The SEC voted to mandate climate disclosures, but the rules are weaker than initially proposed. So in fact, U.S. banks are abandoning, quote, bare minimum environmental standards projects. Quote, four of the world's biggest banks have left the equator principles a set of minish, uh minimum industry standards, and safeguards for financial institutions to address environmental and social risk in countries where they finance fossil fuel mining projects. So it's free reign to terrorize the planet. Uzbekistan is the only nation more miserable than Britain as the Dominican Republic and tops the world well-being charts. A worrying global report is found. The UK only ranked 70th out of 71 countries in terms of mood. Outlook on life and self-esteem in 2023, scoring only 49 on the global mental well-being score when the average score average was 70, 65. You lousy, mate. War in Sudan risks sparking hunger crisis for 25 million people across Sudan, South Sudan, Chad, making it the biggest hunger crisis worldwide. Egyptians are buying and selling gold to stay afloat. Their currency fell 50%. Let the video play. We'll get to the end. Cuba continues to have rolling blackouts, and Bitcoin hits 72k. Trump embraces it, says he's having fun. Stonks go up, but actually they close down a little for the week. New York City is deploying over 700 National Guard and police officers to search bags and for weapons on the subway system because we don't live in a dystopian nightmare, we actually do. Because migrants, right? Without critical thinking, you just say migrants, right? Stepping back and looking at the big picture, why are the migrants here? Because failing political crises in their countries from populist movements and climate change. Wow, it's all connected. The Dow and NASDAQ suddenly goes up. The guy who put a live round in the gun on the set of Rust was charged with involuntary manslaughter, but nobody cares. Biden gave State of the Union address, but nobody cares. And China says we got to be peaceful now in their communist parliamentary meeting. There's lead and cinnamon at dollar stores, so throw them away. Senior Russian officer warns Ukraine conflict could escalate into full-scale war in Europe. And John Kerry suggested Russia could better its public image by cutting emissions. He also said that his disappointment with Russia ultimately chose to wage an unprovoked illegal war rather than offer solutions on combating CC. He stepped down Wednesday. So much for the climate envoy. What did he even do all this time? What were he paying his, his salary for while half of us remain underemployed? I went to college, and then they gave me the IPCC report, which told me I had no future. Thanks, John Kerry. Plastic found inside more than 50% of plaques from clogged arteries, including the placenta. The U.S. military will construct a pier in Gaza on the Mediterranean coast so they can distribute supplies. Broke boomers are moving in with their millennial kids. The average retiree has 142000 in savings. A far cry from the million they'll need to retire comfortably. Russia and China plan for a joint nuclear power plant on the moon. Kim Jong-un orders heightened war preparations and seals its border with China. Also guides artillery firing range within range of Seoul. Sweden joins NATO. Indian Prime Minister Modi visits Pakistan, causing quite the uproar. Louisiana governor issues disaster declaration for crawfish shortage amid, amid extreme weather and drought. Solar-powered farming is quickly depleting the world's groundwater supply. Pentagon releases a 63-page UFO report, the largest ever, detailing 80 years of sightings aren't actually real. Most of them were ordinary things, like weather balloons, and spy planes. Jake Paul's fighting Mike Tyson in July in AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, at the stadium where I was born in Arlington, which is where I screamed my way into this existence. 
Labor Department added 275,000 jobs, mostly retail restaurants and wage slave jobs, which nobody likes, and Trump hosted Hungarian's leader at Mar-a-Lago. U.S. government avoids shutdown after Senate approves a $460 billion in spending, which none of that you will see. Singapore bribed T-Swift so they'd be the only stop in the region for her. Kids will use t fa tablets, phablets to take the s SATs instead of number two pencils. Texas challenges Texas challenges the US, U.S. EPA limits on oil and gas industry methane emissions. Aldi will add 800 stores in the next five years across the U.S. because global warming isn't real. Deforestation and climate change may endanger North American lizards, but Aldi doesn't care. Houthis target bulk carrier, U.S. destroyers in the Red Sea, the crater of Dragon Ball series died. I grew up watching this on television as a child. Haitians shot dead in the street and there's no one to take the corpses away so they're piling up. Gun gunmen kidnapped at least 15 pupils from the school in Nigeria. Days after 300 were abducted in another raid. Pope said Ukraine should wave the white flag and have negotiations. Both candidates are touring and blaming each other for the country's problems. We lost an hour of sleep. Six rich Swiss skiers got lost, but nobody cares. Sensors are being placed all around Hawaii from Department of Homeland Security because of wildfires, because global warming isn't real. Russia was going to use tactical nukes in Ukraine in late 2022. Bernie says that Hamas and Netanyahu must go, as Netanyahu claims he will invade further. Tokyo scrambles fighter planes over the weekend, weekend against Chinese military aircraft that patrol the Western Pacific. And France as ascribed an abortion as a right in its constitution. What a week, huh? Thank you for hanging on and being here with me as I tell the truth about our civilizational demise. Hit like and subscribe. Use the donation link below. I can't do this without you. Times are tough. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later.